This guy is fantastic. He has just been ripping up stages wherever he goes. Put your hands together for Keith Cornell, everybody. Fuck all y'all who's saying, oh shit, there goes the black Clark, Clark Kent and shit. He's a corrective vision lenses motherfucker. I got stigmatism. I'd like to give a shout out to Obama. First black president, I want you to give a round of applause because... I just want you to give a round of applause because every black comedian got a shout out to Obama. I just think I start my career out right. Can't wait till the public option drops because I'm just going to be using it for just no reason. Just go to the OBGYN like, I don't know, public option. Well, just check it out, yeah. Yeah, I'm going through some real stuff. This week, I'm babysitting my little niece. She's the cutest thing. She's the, like, the love of my life. She's five years old. Just love her. Let me say it again. I love her. She's the future. Yeah. Yeah, I just love her. Because, like, she's five years old. She's, she's going to school and stuff. She just started kindergarten. She's asking, like, these really, like, insightful questions. You know, like... Uncle Junior, why is the sky blue? I'm like, uh, why is the sky blue? And then, like, oh, the other day she asked, Uncle Junior, why do black men go to prison and convert to Islam? <laughs> you got into my eyes DVDs, didn't you? <laughs> but, like, in the summer, we were in Penn Station, and then, like, she asked me, like, why do homeless people always dress for cold weather? Like, no matter what time of year. And I'm like, wow, I can't even answer that shit. <laughs> and then I looked over and I seen this dude just laying on, the, laying on the platform with brand new sneakers and this beautiful, thick North Face jacket. Like, way better than mine because my Bear Mountain jacket had a hole in it and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? You remember when bums were just bums and didn't have like coats and new sneakers? Like they just had like a holy dirty Fruit of the Looms t-shirt. Some old oversized Patrick Ewing sneakers and shit. Cleaning the windows. Had yesterday covered up with the New York Times from like last year. Nowadays they covered up with like brand new New York Times, like new shit on the paper and shit. I love them days, the bums are just bums. They just appreciated shit. You could just, Toss them a McDonald's bag, and they'll be like, oh, wow. Oh, wow, it's an empty Big Mac box with just lettuce and special sauce. My family's gonna eat tonight. <laughs> One of y'all homeless or something? <laughs> Holy sh... Come on, that shit is just indulging. You got dinners and shit, you homeless? Bud Lights being fancy. I heard a bunch of you guys were from Brooklyn. Let's go Dodgers. No? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. I just love saying that shit. Oh! I just love saying that shit because people just think I come from struggle or something. Like, I'm a rapper. I'm like, I didn't come from no fucking struggle. I grew up with both my parents. In a house. Premium cable and shit. We paid for it. I got the bill. I bring y'all motherfuckers some statements. Only one struggle I had was buying weed. Cause, not because I wasn't addicted to it, because it's not physically addictive, it's just... But yeah, it was because like, there's too many codes for the shit. And I called up my, my homeboy the other day trying to get, some, get a bag or whatever, and he's like, as soon as he picks up the phone, he's like, oh, what's up, man, you thirsty? What, you hungry? Well, you ready to bake them biscuits, baby? I'm like, nah, motherfucker, you ready for a soul food luncheon? I'm just want some fucking pot. Yeah. Sounds delicious, but... Another problem with weed man is you can't have a weed man who you're too close with, who you knew from like back in the day and shit, because when you get a weed, you don't want all that long conversation trying to catch up and shit. Went up to my weed man the other day. I'm like, yeah, man, I just want half an O. Keep my, keep my nerves cool. I'm taking care of my niece and shit next week. It's cool. 
And this guy goes through this whole, the whole long thing, like, hey, what's up, man? How you been? Oh, oh hey, I saw your mother on Sunday. I wish I would have seen you. I told you I had a, I had a new shipment in Cali And I'm like, shut the fuck up, Reverend Jackson. <laughs> the fuck, that's why I don't come to church. You talking shit. You sell weed, man. Give me that bag. Just peeled off, motherfucker. So, I remember from my upbringing, the most vicious gang was. I don't want to say the name. It was Jehovah Witness. <laughs> Those motherfuckers was vicious. Because they didn't even have, I don't know, baseball bats and knives and shit. They just had that watchtower. Scary ass watchtower, some scary shit like, tomorrow's the end. Tomorrow's the end. Are you, is your soul saved? Part two. And then they got some crazy ass picture of it of Jesus shaking a Jew. Like, yeah, how you like that, motherfucker? Just disgusting. But nowadays, like, they just lost their edge. They cooled down a lot. I saw this uh, Jehovah Witness at the Ford train the other day. He's just standing there like, uh, world is ending tomorrow. Save yourself. Get down with the team, baby. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. He said, all right, cool. You don't want it? I'll be here next week. I'm like, I thought the world was ending tomorrow. I guess he saw 2012. I don't know. Yeah, but if I was to convert to religion, it would be Judaism. And fuck all of you who would have said Islam because that shit is racist. But yeah. <laughs> Judaism. Why? I have no idea what they believe, but I know they have an ass load of holidays. <laughs> and they party a lot. And anybody who's not Judaism is clapping. Yeah. All to the side of the street and walking is canceled. I love it. <laughs> Thank God for the Jews. Yeah, I'll just be a Jew. Holidays and parties, that's it. They're like the frat boys of the spirituality world. They're like, just wake up in the morning, oh, bro, that Rosh Hashanah party was crazy, man. Cash me in a couple months. It's an eight-day eight binge. Hanukkah's gonna be wild. Yeah, but they never want to come to your parties. As soon as you say, hey, Finkelstein, man, we have a Christmas party next week. No, bro, I have, a, uh, I have a thing to do, plus, you know I have problems with the birthday boy, I, I just can't make it. Another reason I want to be Jewish, because, because of work, man, I, I hate calling out sick, because it's like, you have to go on Wikipedia and research some fucking disease and shit. Poliomyelitis. Symptoms are flaccid paralysis. And, Hate that shit. Then you gotta rehearse your whole sick voice. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sick. <clears throat> me, 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 me. I'm sick. No, I'm sick today. And then, fuck it. I just wanna call out Jew. Just call him and be like, listen, I'm observing something today in. I don't know. Like, I tried this shit once. I thought it was gonna work. I thought it was smart. Had no idea that my boss was Jewish. Call up. Ring. Hey. Mel's, hey, how's it going? Oh, no, 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 I, not polio this time. Something new. I'm calling out Jew. Today's the Sabbath. No, that's not on Tuesday? All right, I think today is the Jewish Martin Luther King Day. Uh, whatever. Thank you, that's my time. Keith, thank you for supporting. That guy loves juice. He loves juice.